It feels like Christmas, but it's not. It's actually curriculum buying season, and that's the type of haul that I have for you today. I don't buy our curriculum in bulk, but I have begun to purchase and piece everything together, so I will continue to share with you as it all arrives. And if you didn't know, we are year-round homeschoolers. For the month of June till about mid-July, we do take a more relaxed approach, so a lot less routine and sit-down work, more unit studies, project-based, um, art, a lot of field trips and outdoor time, so our regularly scheduled programming, school programming that is, will resume mid-July. Beginning with my purchases from a childstream.com. And my first purchase is the ABC's Peg Doll Kit. Now this is to make your own alphabet peg dolls. And this is primarily for my four, soon to be five year old, and my toddler. She'll soon be three and she loves her peg dolls. Uh, so included in the kit are 26 large and 26 small wood peg doll blanks. So for your uppercase and lowercase letters. And let me tell you that the quality of this wood is superior to the peg dolls that I normally buy on Amazon. Feels a lot, a lot nicer and a lot heavier as well. So also included in the kit is the Lamb's Pride wool yarn in two colors. Um, enough to do several dolls. I don't think that it would be enough for all uppercase and lowercase. Next in the kit is one Lyra Opaque Watercolors and Paintbrush Set. I've had my eye on this palette for a while, so I'm excited to have it in hand. The case uh, seems durable, a nice uh, thick plastic. Inside you have your 12 pans, which are removable, so you can customize your palette or refill colors as needed the white tube paint here and then there is one paintbrush included it seems to have stiff bristles I'm not sure about the quality but we'll find out soon enough and lastly in the kit is Holland 100% wool felt in five colors the website does say that the colors may vary but it seems like I got the five basic rainbow colors so beautiful quality I'm not sure of the dimension exactly, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that they weren't just felt squares, so it's actually more than I expected. Next, I bought two thick rustic wool felt sheets, and the colors that I purchased are Midnight Blue, and the green is called Spruce. And these are 12 by 12 inch flat sheets and it is about three to four millimeters thick. Beautiful handmade 100% wool. Uh, and these are ideal for using as a base for needle or wet felting projects. I also picked up three of the Nature Spun Wool Yarn in Worsted Weight in the colors Pepper, Chocolate Kisses, and the lightest brown is in Saddle Tan. And this is for additional uh, hair for the peg dolls, just in case the wool that is included in the kit is not enough. I'm always making peg dolls for my littles, so not just for the alphabet peg dolls. Um, I decided to invest in more wool felt, and this is actually called their Wee Dolls Felt Collection. Um, so it's Holland 100% wool felt in a range of pastels. Uh, there are jewels, naturals, and neutrals as well. So it's a good way to get a little bit of everything. Um, so again, it's merino wool, and it's about one millimeter thick, and there are 14 different colors, and the felt sheets are just about eight to 12 inches. Next is a knitting tower set, so included is the wooden tower in a small 
ball of wool yarn. With Bella, my six-year-old, we've done two-finger knitting and that was a little hard for her. So I thought that we'd give this a go. Um, I think it might be easier for her as she can use both hands versus the finger knitting she's limited to one. Um, we have made several of these cords here so I'm excited to add more to what we have so far and this is great for story time or read alouds or audiobooks to keep her hands busy while she's listening. Windle Star Kite Paper and you've seen this on my channel already. This is a rebuy replenishing what we've used so far. I chose a few books for our art electives. So we'll, we will begin the school year with coloring with block crayons. And as you can see here, this is more of a manual uh, for the teacher or the parent, not a workbook for the student to work out of. So I've already read the intro and I've begun the parent lessons and I'm liking it so far, but I will make a more in-depth review once we've been able to work our way through it more and I have some um, example work from my children to show you. Following coloring with block crayons, we'll get right into creative form drawing by Angela Lord. And this is workbook number one, ages six to 10 years old. And there is a workbook number two for ages 10 and up, and I will also be purchasing that soon. So uh, just like coloring with block crayons, this says it's a workbook, but you're not working uh, in uh, or drawing directly in the book. So in my opinion, just like coloring with block crayons, it's more of a teacher's manual or maybe even like a textbook in that it is guided and broken down by lessons. Um, and we will work out of the book with it out in front of us, but it is not a word for word guide. Um, again, just more like a teacher's handbook or a manual in um, explaining teaching methods and notes on observing the child. I selected a few curriculum books for my four soon to be five year old, although I expect my three year old and six year old to also listen in. And this curriculum is by the author Howard Schrager. The first book is called King Maximo and the Number Knights, a book for teaching number and number quantities one through 12 through story and art. Next by the same author is LMNOP and all the letters A to Z. And this is an alphabet book, but also like a poetry book. And it's for teaching the alphabet and its phonetic sounds. It takes you through the entire alphabet with beautiful illustrations based and influenced from nature and the culture and style of art uh, in the 14th through 16th centuries. So on one side is a beautiful illustration with a capital letter within it. And then the other side is a poem co corresponding and describing the picture, but more emphasizing on the phonetic sound of the letter. Part of this curriculum or series, but sold separately are a few other resources. So working with LMNOP, which is a teacher's manual, singing LMNOP, a download audio CD, and poster wall cards, and I've purchased them all. I've already displayed the wall cards in our schoolroom, and I used Velcro dots to hang them, so I was able to pull a few of 
them down to show you. The illustrations and poems are identical to the book, so both are not needed. But I will say that my kids love looking at these wall cards every day. They ask questions and they look for the letters within the illustrations. The wall cards are printed on a glossy cardstock material or type paper and they are about as large as the book pages. So I didn't find the parent slash teacher's manual on a child stream. I actually purchased my copy on Amazon and this is big. Uh, the manual guides the parent or teacher through presenting lessons, through telling stories, uh, sounds, gestures, reciting poems, dramatization, drawing, singing, and more activity suggestions. The author calls this method of teaching and the child learning the imaginative field. This manual is such a wonderful resource and companion to the alphabet book and I've already read through a lot of it and I have so much to say on it so look out for a review. Before I forget, I did buy two things off of Amazon recently, and one is this cutout window tracker reading guide. So when my Bella is reading her easy readers, she does seem to get overwhelmed uh, with all the words and letters on the page. So uh, I bought this as a guide for her. We've been using it and it has been helping. And with all the artwork that has been going on in projects, we uh, needed new smocks for the kids. So um, I bought plain canvas smocks off of Amazon and they did come in a three pack. Prior to these, we had like the really cheap plastic ones and they did not hold up well at all. And honestly, they were uncomfortable. So I wanted to just buy a better quality material. Michael's was having a huge sale and I wanted to take advantage of that sale specifically for their paper pads. They were buy one, get one. So I bought the Strathmore drawing pads. This is a 50 sheet pad of 70 pound paper and the measurements I believe are 9 by 14 and it's spiral bound. So this is the large size, which is ideal for younger children as they need a bigger space to draw and to write. My plan for these is for our kind of like a main lesson block book for our math and the LMNOP curriculum, but also for our art um, lessons. So coloring with block crayons and creative form drawings. And I'm going to use one pad per kid and I plan on dividing the subjects or the lessons with the divider tabs. And all things Crayola were also on sale uh, during this Michael sale. So I picked up a few things and the first is modeling clay. Now ideally I do want to purchase um, modeling beeswax eventually but it is so pricey that I thought I'd begin with modeling clay as an alternate and we'll see how it works out. So I picked up two packs of that and this is for ideally for keeping their hands busy again while we're um, listening to an audiobook or a podcast or um, I'm reading a read aloud or telling stories. You may have seen us haul the Crayola air dry clay in the color white a few months ago. Uh, so I've been wanting to pick up the terracotta color and again Crayola was on sale so I took advantage of that because my kids are loving this. We've actually made a big dent in the big tub that I hauled off of Amazon. Um, so we, I picked this up to add to our clay supplies. They've made so many projects with this, um, seashell necklaces and stepping stones and all sorts of fun stuff with clay. My teenage daughter and I bullet journal. So I bought these watercolor pencils from Crayola. They were only $3 and it is our first set of watercolor pencils. So I figured they were worth the price uh, and try out, see how we like them. 
This is a Recollections brand, which is Michael's brand of a 3.4 quart storage container, also known as the Latch Me container. The larger sizes of these are very popular with homeschool moms for storing curriculum. I don't necessarily need to store curriculum, but I do like the small size one for storing all the loose parts or math manipulatives that come with our um, math curriculum and the activity box, which is the good and the beautiful. I already used this system for our Math K, so here is our box, and as you can see, it stores all the pieces that come within that math activity box perfectly, the flashcards, cubes, and other game pieces. So I purchased another for our Math Level 1. And just for some summer fun, my teenager really wanted these tie-dye kits, so we're going to give these a try, see how we, well we like them. Now I have some thrifted slash used books to show you as well. We're almost done. This is the last of it. But at Goodwill, I found Singapore Primary Mathematics 1A and 1B textbooks. And we do use the good and the beautiful math curriculum, and I love it. I can't say enough things about it. But I do like to purchase inexpensive workbooks for car trips, uh, restaurant kits, or even just as a variation every so often. And I usually buy workbooks from Target, Bullseye, when they have their back-to-school seasonal items out, or from Dollar Tree. But I found these for just 99 cents, and so now I don't have to buy any other workbook. I'd rather just use this, which is an actual curriculum. And I do know that there is a workbook and a teacher's manual that goes with these textbooks. I won't be buying those um, unless I find them at Goodwill, um, but I'll just photocopy out of these textbooks and um, use with math manipulatives so that we don't write in them. Now, this isn't normally our style, but honestly, for a dollar, I just couldn't pass them up. And I have seen good reviews, so I'll update you if you'd like on how we're liking this curriculum. Finger plays for nursery and kindergarten. I bought this for our circle or morning time, specifically with my toddler in mind, but really all of the kids love finger plays. This is really vintage, published in 1893, but honestly it's what I love most about it. Um, I purchased this on a Waldorf buy sell trade site for just a few bucks. And I don't read music. So I'll improvise the tunes and melodies, but I will be able to read the lyrics and follow along to the finger plays in the book. And finger plays are a wonderful way to warm up little fingers uh, for the day. So for music lessons or handiwork and even handwriting. And then of course it's an activity we can do together and I'm all for that in our days and in our homeschool. And the next book I want to show you is Beginning Recorder by Oak Meadow Curriculum, a parent's guide for teaching the soprano recorder. And I also bought this pre-owned on a Waldorf BST page, but I also did buy the digital access directly from Oak Meadow. And this is just going to be a component to art for Bella's first grade year which is something that's common in the first grade year in the Waldorf method of education. Jump the world, stories, poems, and things to make and do from around the world. And this is a really unique book. It begins as like a game board. Uh, so you start at number one and you make your way around the map, so around the world. Um, and it also begins with an opening um, like chant and dance and then you have different stops throughout the world so the first stop is in South America and just like uh, this stop every other stop also it has a short story 
and then followed by either a craft or a recipe. This will be one of the resources that we use this year for our world geography and cultural studies, which is going to be mainly around the seven world continents. And I like that this is something that, again, we can work on together. So I can um, involve my toddler, my kindergartner, and my first grader um, in all of the crafts or recipes. If you enjoyed this haul, give me a thumbs up and thanks for your love.